Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you, Will? I rest, resting a few, uh, a lot of minutes because I, I finished it to do exercise. Okay. Were you doing exercise? You? Were you exercising at at home or did you go to the gym? Uh, no, I, I do exercise at home, but from my from my house, um, in in the um, the street, it is it is, um, there are not not cars. There are no I cars. Can there are you no can cars. In the in the yes. street is in the street is good. Yes, yes, I can run around around there. Oh, that's good. Yes, but it, it was okay. Mm -hmm. I remember you told me yesterday that you you were so so stressful. Then you go to do exercise, and it is good. It yeah, is good because you feel better. It is so it is so relaxing. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, I I was repairing the showers today because they were leaking. And that got more stressed, you know. But it's okay. I, I, can I, I was trying to teach my kids, my two boys, how to repair the showers, you know, how to change the, <laughs> the ceilings. Man, but that was a they started, they start fighting. They're they're in that age <laughs> where they 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 fight over everything, you know. He's breathing next to me. Literally, they go like he's breathing, he's breathing next <laughs> to me. I'm like, really. <laughs> okay. They just it they, is so hard they just can, can, can my... they can stand each other. Do you have boys, right? Yes. How many boys do you have? Three. Three boys? Any girl? Yes. No, any girl. Only There's my no girl. pet. Okay. I have a a, <laughs> a little cat and and, and uh, a little dog. Oh, okay. Both uh, women. Women well, or women? Well, but no, both are females. Females. They're, they are both females. They are both females. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's hey, good. Hey. So my, my, my youngest kid start to start in English today. Online. Online? Yes, he is 11 years old, but yeah, they're we get an opportunity to to get english classes that's good yes because it is good for them because it is do a good do they a, like a that good... excuse me do they like that do they like um, english yes 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 because he he can he can listen to me when I start in English and oh, I, I try to, to speak with them. <laughs> and they, my, my oldest and my middle, you, um, they both understand uh, so much English. That's awesome. Because they both uh, finish in um, 18 yeah. level in the National University. Oh, that's good. That's yes. good. Yeah, but you know, free English course. I mean, any English course is good if you practice, if you uh, get disciplined, you know, and you practice every day and you do exercises every day. That's the best way to go if you really want to learn. Yes. This this English course is good as well, but uh, this is very demanding in the in terms of you studying the grammar, and then. You have to talk about work related topics, you know. That's the only difference, which is not common, which is not common. I have to yeah. tell you. Yeah. It's not common. And, teacher, and, and this this course, um, I I guess that is the best opportunity that I get I got it 
because I always try to start in English, but because the schedule always is sorry, the 6 p.m., but I can do it because I arriving at home around 6 p.m. And then it is so, so stressful for me. Where, where are you? Where are you, Wilfred? Me, excuse me? Where are you? Where do you live? Santa Ana. Santa Ana, right? Yeah, you couldn't be in presential classes, you know, live classes. Yes, but it's called in the schedule. It is good because I, I try to do many things because I like to go to the church. I try to go every day. Every day. But then I finish what is, around eight. What is a centric... What is a centric point for you in Santa Ana, Wilfredo? Around cathedral. The cathedral that's around the town hall? Yes. Mm -hmm. City hall, do you know? Yeah, the city hall, of course, I'm a Santaneco too. <laughs> right. Yeah, I remember Parque Libertad and everything. But, but I live near to National University. You live near to the national, so you live in Altos del Palmar. Yes, yes, mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Yes. I used to go to the national university to to grab some this fruit. I can't remember uh, the name of guanabanas. Guanabanas, yes. Yeah. <laughs> As a kid, I used to go there just just for that reason because I loved guanabanas. Doing um fresco you know <laughs> and some beverages yeah we didn't have a blender we didn't have a blender so i used to leave the the guanabana on water the whole night and then put sugar on it next day and it was delicious the next day, your drink <laughs> yeah. okay let me do the attendance okay. guys so we can start with uh, a regular conversation that you may like i hope um Please turn on your cameras. Who's that girl? Who, who is that girl? This is Susana Carolina. Oh my God. You look so young. Okay. Oh, thank you. Así me voy a quedar. Yeah. Well, maybe because you're happy, you're smiling, then it makes you look prettier. That's good. Sandra, turn on your camera. Wilfredo, turn on your camera. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Not here yet. Adrián Stephanie Martinez Flores. <laughs> Ana Selmi Chévez. Not yet. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Edwin. Edwin, he's talking. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Not yet. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Excellent. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Not here yet. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, Present. Hey, welcome back. What Thank happened you. to you? Uh, no, it's a good idea if I this is recorded, uh, but I go into you later. Okay. Maybe it's a little confused. But but you're mm -hmm. fine now. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. We're glad to have you back. Hope to see you participating again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, so I have a just a random question for you. Um, what was your favorite cartoon to watch? What's the best memory that you have in my case? As, as always, I'm going to give you a little example. When I was a kid, everybody wants to talk about this topic, I know. 
<laughs> you get excited. Hey, do you remember? You know what I used to love the most? What I used, and I still, and I still do it. Whenever I had the time, I go with my kids and go to YouTube and look for Metro Golding Mayor cartoons. Walter Lanz. Walter yeah. Lanz. And no, no, do you no. remember Pajaro Carpintero? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the wood, woodpecker, woodpecker. Metro Golden Mayor present. Man, that, that was, those were good cartoons. El Gallo Claudio, I mean, yes. uh, Pato Lucas, but the original ones. I mean, it was so insane. And you know what? Now that I speak English every day, when I watch these videos with my kids, I go like, oh my God. It's, it's, it's said bad words they said bad yes. words they, they used oh my god there was so much violence in these cartoons wow but but it was amazing it was so hilarious so hilarious when watching these cartoons so what about you what do you remember about your childhood cartoons sandra i wanted to, to talk right the flintstones i mean Flintstone. that's epic mm-hmm Sandra? Dragon Ball Z, no, that's more, more here. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean. But for Kenya. me, it's my, when I try. Oh my God. I'm too old, I'm too old. Sorry for you. you. <laughs> no, she said Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, no, but Messenger was my favorite. Really? You liked yes. Messenger? You know yes. what, Ma Messenger was one of the first cartoons presenting no, a, a no, hero, Masinger. a hero woman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sandra? I create um, messenger. I like um, He-Man. He-Man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also Ultraman teacher. Man. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes. Was that the Chinese? Is the, it, yeah. wasn't a cart it wasn't a cartoon. That was no, like... it wasn't a cartoon. Was that was good. It was good. Yeah, but I liked it. it was, yeah. Which yeah. man was my hero. <laughs> Rosa, uh, do you remember uh, San Kukai? Yes, I was more campeón. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. 31. Man, yes. Ulises 31. I don't know why they stopped the production. That was an amazing <laughs> cartoon. I, I recently watched the whole thing on YouTube. <laughs> you can find all the chapters on YouTube. Teacher. And do, do you know if, if, if Lisa arrived at, at, at uh, back home? <laughs> yet, yeah, but home. Because yes. I, I hope they try. I, I, I got ready. Uh, he made it. He made it back home. <laughs> you, oh, you, also, for you get candy. Candy? Yeah, <laughs> candy, candy. candy with candy. yeah that, that's for kids. Oh, that's for ladies. It's for women. Also, we, um, we, 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 what? Teacher, y la nueva, y la nueva English, English. Who's the new, Who the new, new classmate? Who is the new classmate? I don't know. What's your name? Carolina? <laughs> I think Carolina Herrera. I oh, know Hernandez. Okay. <laughs> hey, Carolina Her 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 Herrera. <laughs> Gringos go crazy about it. Adriana, what was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid? I'm still a, ch a child. Um, um, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold, hey um, Arnold. Do you know Arnold? But hey Arnold is, Arnold, Arnold, oh my God, it's um, about 20, 2000, <laughs> yeah. 2000, Nickelodeon, yeah. yeah. I, I loved when we, they- We when are they talking used, about Nickelodeon. cartoons from the 70s. <laughs> That's from, from our age. Okay, let's get nostalgic here. You remember uh, the snorkels? Yeah. Jam and the holograms too. Jam and the holograms, <laughs> yes. This nurse, like that. This nurse, this nurse. Here we come. Yes. What? Horse? Oh, Jose. Horse? Yeah, and Joseph, the little bee. I, I don't know how they Jose used to Miel. call it. Jose Miel. Jose Miel. <laughs> yeah, those were good cartoons. The Every, I, I, I like. I love Kenya and Gabriela's face right now. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> All the care bears. What are you talking about, right? <laughs> care bears. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but let me see, Kenya, Gabriela, what do you remember in your childhood? What what cartoons did you used to watch? 
Mm, I just remember when I was a child, I was always watching the Flintstones, right? And in Candy, uh, the same Hey Arnold, that's, you know, like the most <laughs> that the we were the with. Robert? All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was another one. <laughs> I loved um, Ghostbusters, but the, there was a version that I haven't found, and that, that was on on channel six i think man but i used to get scared you know with this the original cartoons from god to ghostbusters garfield on sunday he clip he clip man this the music the music <laughs> was so all day on 12 yeah. o'clock Okay, a, a general question. Did, did you used to watch these cartoons before or after school? After school, Super okay. Vacaciones, do you remember? After, in vacation. <laughs> yeah, only in, only <laughs> oh. in vacation. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Wilfredo, I think you, you and I, we grew, up, we grew up with Nube Luz, right? And Shusha. Yes. yes. I remember. Uh, Shusha. <laughs> Shusha. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Those were Chú, good times. Up, <laughs> the white Ay, lion? Kimba, Kimba. Yes. Oh, oh you mean the lion Kimba. king? The lion king? I didn't like no. that. I don't know. No, teacher. Kimba. No, no, it is, the it white is lion. Kimba, the white lion. The white lion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's just that I, I have always loved more like tail cartoons. Tail cartoons. Mm -hmm. uh, the gummy bears. The gummy bears that they're on Disney Plus now, and, and I, I have been watching the series with my kids again. We need the pool. You remember you, you the Thunder, 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 the Silver Hawks, Silver Hawks. I used to watch, I used to watch the Hard Birds. What, what was the name? Hard birds. The Thunder Cats, the Thunder Cats, Thunder Cats, yeah. I mean, those were our cartoons, right? And they haven't they haven't made the movie. I hate that, you know, because Fox, yeah. I think, or Warner, they they bought the rights for Thundercats, Silverhawks, and they haven't come up with the with the movies. Shira, Shira, teacher, Shira. Shira. I was in love with Shira. The warrior woman. <laughs> I was in love with, with him. <laughs> Now, when, when we go out of cartoon side, I, do you remember um, Highlander? Mm, El Immortal. Yes. And yes. what about Friday the 13th? Mm. The series, the series. Yeah. Yes, teacher. I, I see to, to Highlander, my grandmother. Oh my God, Cantinflas. Ah, uh, yes. Let's yes. go, let's go to the sun. But you will get burned. No, I will go at, at night. Hey, <laughs> hey guys, and do, do you remember? Uh, I, I don't remember. With Fred, uh -huh. huh? Hey, uh, do you do you remember or somebody remember when around eighteen? Twenty eighteen. In, 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 no. Um, mil novecientos ochenta. Nineteen eighty. 1980 uh, Festival de Artes Marciales every every Friday. Oh my God! You went too far. Yes, that's but that's. It is all much. all movie karate movie. Mm. Oh, oh, oh you mean like the the real kung fu movies? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the ones that used to go like. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> they used to move the lips <laughs> first and then. <laughs> Hey, soy más viejo que todos ustedes, ya vi. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I, I remember all cartoons, for so example. you remember cartoons, but... Yes. Ah, okay. No, tell, no, tell uh, us. Do you, do you remember, um, for example, El Pájaro Carpintero? Yes. Uh, Walter Lang. Chili Willy. <laughs> Chili Willy, Lagarto Juanjo, Piro Loco Macro. <laughs> good, Captain, good, good. Captain Planet. Yeah. Okay. Captain Planet was yeah, good too. American Cup. Pepe Potam. What, Susana? <laughs> Pepe Potam. <laughs> yeah. American Cup. When she Ameri say 
uh, American Cap. No, no, no. That, that was, no, that was the uh, Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Ah, Captain Planet. Yes. Yeah. yes Captain Planet. And of course, the X Men, the original series. Oh, yes. Yes. Plastic. plastic. Yes. Oh, the Elastic plastic. Man. Yeah, Elastic Man. Man. The Elastic yes. Man. That was the Fantastic Four. No, yeah. but there are there are a, a series about the Elastic Man. Really? Yeah. Uh, before, oh, before. Also, also, um, Super Pollo. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see how old yes. we are. Let's see how old you are. You remember Super Pan? Yes. 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 Levadura, levadura. <laughs> levadura, levadura. Dame musculatura, dura, dura. <laughs> oh my God, it was old. Yeah, so got... Teacher, uh, do you. Uh, I suggest that you listen in uh, the band G and X. And this band sing all songs for the cartoon. It's very good. Band DMX? It's, a, yeah. mm -hmm. it's very nice because it's, it's with a symphonic. Oh, yeah. I, I actually saw something like that. Symphonic that it... melody. Mm -hmm. it, uh, they sing, for example, Candy Candy, Ulysses 31, uh, Los Fierce Song, uh, all, all uh, some of the cartoon. The In, soundtracks. Yes, it's very good, the, the music. Yeah. I used to love Winnie Pooh, you know. I, I was in love with Winnie Pooh, and I was like 10 or 12, still watching Winnie Pooh. In fact, my my son's, my eldest son's name is Christopher. Not Robin, but Christopher. Christopher Alexander. Mm -hmm. And my second son's name is um, Xavier. Why? Uh, my, my child, Xavier. My, my son's name is Xavier. Of course, everybody calls him Javier, right? And I call him Xavier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Or Charles Xavier. Okay. <laughs> Man, that, that's a great topic. I mean, we could spend hours talking about cartoons, you know, um, series that you used to watch, like Saved by the Bell. Hulk. Yeah. Hulk. Mm, no, but more like ah. Save, Save Like the Bell. Uh, you had mm. The Wonder Years. Oh, yeah. Um, different strokes. Do you remember different strokes? Trucks? Different strokes with Gary Coleman. Mm, no. No. I remember the the unknown dimension. Oh yeah. And um also was... uh, the Bill Cosby show. The Bill Cosby show on yeah. unsolved mysteries. The Prince of Bel Air. The Prince of Bel Air. Very good. Do you remember Tarsantich? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is oh, and of course, Doggy House. As we said, oh, yes, yes. Doggy House. Yes. They they made a remake. They they have made remakes. I mean, Doctor House and um, yeah, Gifted Hands is what also... about what about Chips? <laughs> Chip and Dale. No Chips. Chips. Yeah, with uh... oh my God, with Eric Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada, I yeah. didn't watch that series that much. Yeah. It was like Tango and Cash. I didn't watch them too much. Oh, Starkey Hodge. Starkey Hodge, uh-huh. Yeah. And the uh, fantastic car I can the remember. The Engels family. Oh, do you remember dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the baby dinosaurs. No, <laughs> Okay, that, that was my favorite. That was one of my favorites. It was so sad and terrific how they finished the series. Everybody died. That was Alf. oh my god. <laughs> Alf. I love it. I was traumatized with Alf when I was a kid. I, I had a Alf. I had a puppet. In my life, I want Alf. Of course. Hey, but... Popeye, teacher. 
Pope. Yes. Oh my God. Topo, topo we, we, we were happy, right? We were happy. I mean, yeah, we, we happy. had a lot of things to watch on TV. That those were real programs. And, and you know what's funny? You could watch the same episode over and over and over yes. again <laughs> with Batman, the series at noon. I mean, that was amazing. Okay, guys, thank I you. Feel older, teacher. Yeah, we you are make older. me feel older, yes. <laughs> but you're young. Look at you. Okay, no, take a I take a selfie. Like take a selfie today and put it on, on the wall. <laughs> okay. So it's 825. Wow. Time flies. So yesterday we made some small groups and I sent them to the WhatsApp. Hold on. I'm working, making reports. I'll just be a listener. Okay, Nelson, not a problem. So yesterday we made some groups. We didn't finish the expositions. We're missing Ada and Gloria, I think. Yeah. Okay. And that's on, that was on for the first group. Gloria was on the first group. On the first group, we had Adriana, she's here, Edwin and Rosa. Second group, Anaselmi is not here, but we have Carla, Susana, and Walter. Group three, I have Ada Patricia, she's not present. Kenny and Wilfredo are here and they can talk totally. Gabriela, Nelson, and Sandra were on the fourth group. So Gabriela and Sandra could do something. So let's continue um, preparing to come to the front or are you ready to just go ahead and talk about the topic that you had to talk about? Teacher, in, in our case, um, group number two, um, Anna Selmi had the presentation. Oh my God. <laughs> I, yes. Okay, but wait. Can wait. You're not number two, you are group Yes, I am in number two. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, true, it's true. Yeah, See, with part, part no, there. I mean, well, it's okay, but let's prepare a little bit so you can come to the front and describe because it's very important. And then we will review the platform after the expositions. Let me try to split you guys the same way you did, you were yesterday. Assign manually. Okay. Two, three, four. So on group number one, I have to shoot to the screen. Hold on. Uh -huh. I had Adriana, Edwin, and Rosa. There you go. Okay, group number two. Two. I'm sorry, two. I have Anaselmi, Carla, Susana. And Walter, group number three. Do you hear the dog barking? I'm so sorry. Group number three, Ana Patricia is not here, but we have Kenya and Wilfredo. And group number four, huh. I had Gabriela, Nelson and Sandra. So on this group, I'm going to add um, Wendy. And Pamela, you will be with Susana, Walter, and Carl. Oh, no, 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 no. Group number three, Kenya, Wilfredo. You guys will have Pamela too. Okay. So the topics are on your WhatsApp group. Let's prepare a little bit more. If you already prepared something, just recall the information. You will have exactly 12 minutes to get ready. It's 828. So at 840, I will call you back. So let's prepare something and come up to the front to explain each topic, okay? Okay. Instructions are also on the groups, okay? So, okay, oh, so what's up group? Let's do it.
was a terrible day, but yes, I'm I'm looking in my WhatsApp group right now. Okay. Let me see what is information. Oh, there it is. We already talk about uh about false problem claims and hiding turns user agreements. Yes. I already explained this yesterday. So we miss uh about the wealth bar. But well, what is the name of the bank? Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, right? Mm -hmm. okay, you are you are already in the information, Rosa and Adriana. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Start reading. Start reading what really happened in uh, in this okay. bank. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the information. Uh, there it is, Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. Are you are you ready there? Yes, I can I can read the the case. Okay, Wells Fargo, there has been one massive scandal after another at Wells Fargo. Uh -huh. In, in 1981, the bank was involved in one of the largest investments in history. Uh -huh. Then, with its shoddy mortgage practice, the company became a major player in the 2008. In our financial crisis, <clears throat> shortly after to help the business recover, Wells Fargo pursued employees to set up hiding accounts in customers' names. This continued until the schemes, schemes discovery in 2016. Discovery. Change, what is the meaning of chains uh, discovery in 2016? Chains, schemes, schemes. Okay. If you see the 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 red uh, letters, the ones that say Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. the push there, he, he sent you to to the other page where is Oh, the yes, there's a link. Uh -huh, the whole information of, about what really happens. Are you there? Yes, let me, let me. Let me find the link. Yesterday we we read this. Yes. Oh, I, I remember where the of the where we get. Maybe maybe we try. If to... you want to, we can start reading from from the beginning again try to, to understand. Try to, to understand uh -huh, try to understand better. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you want me to start? Yes. Okay. Hey. Mm -hmm. Stop. Uh, Wells Fargo CEO Tim Sloan is testifying in front of the House Financial Services Committee Tuesday at at a hearing call holding mega banks accountable and examination of Wells Fargo partner of consumer abuse. Do you see? They, they, the uh, the bank has a. How do you say that? Uh, the. The, oh my God. And the consumer abuse. Uh huh. The uh -huh, or, A pattern. 
bribery. Bribery, okay. Yes. Bribery. Mm, I can talk about this topic if you want. And you can explain the, the point number seven. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hey. Can you help us with, with present, how we can present a presentation? Remember that it's just about okay. explaining, explaining your uh, part. Your group's number two, right? Group two. Unethical accounting, poor working conditions. And all of that is on the on the excerpt yes. that I send you. Hey. Guys, if you want only talking. We don't yeah, it's things. just, yeah, don't, don't worry about doing a presentation. It's just about your point of view, what you understand by uh, unethical accounting. It says unintentional intentionally mismanaging accounts can make a company seem more profitable than it really is. Oh my God, this hurts investors who may purchase shares in the company only to end up losing when the truth is revealed. Wow, and that's a common yeah. practice. That is a common practice um, in many companies. They inflate the incomes yearly by yearly presenting results that are unreal yes false information false information false information just to attract more investors and in the end you know they end up stealing the money from investors non-compliance non-compliance is the word not non-compliance Non-compliance is the word when you say non-compliance with overtime payments. Yeah, that, that's a word. That's right. Non-compliance. Uh-huh. Non-compliance. Yes. Non-compliance. Okay. okay, so that's the idea. Just get the general idea, the general picture, and then come to the front and explain what you have understood. Now, the last part, you have three parts. Each one of you could talk um, about each thing, you know, and at the end, what are consequences of unethical business practices? You have to talk about Ferrero USA. Yes, Ferrero. The brand Nutella, it was forced it to pay a settlement of $3.05 million after yes. selling a class auction lawsuit for sale for false advertising. We conclude it's, with that uh, it's a false advertising with information. What? It's offer... not, is not nutritional? No. Wow. It's bad for you. <gasps> I'm not going to eat Nutella anymore. <laughs> it's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that... Mm -hmm. No, only children. It's nutrition, but... Not for children. No, okay. Anyways, but okay. that, that that's the point. You just split the work, split the work among yourselves, and then who's gonna read or present what? Who's going to explain what? Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you. Okay, guys. Who is the first? Okay, I, I understand that we need to explain each, each sentence or each yes, question. The, in the first, we have the question. Is uh -huh. the first question, why these are authentical practices? Is okay. the first. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Why is okay. this? Uh -huh. We answer the authentical practice because in your, with this part, These are unethical process because it is complete. This this part, yeah.
It's the first question. Uh -huh. It's the first question, but it's complete. Yeah. It's complete. I understand what are you saying. Yeah, it's, com right. it's complete because the answer is the intentionally mismanagement account is uh, equal to uh, fraud. Okay. You begin the, when say these are authentical practices because uh -huh. you start with the answer there. That is it. Por qué, por qué hay una, una, ay, ¿cómo se puede decir? Una práctica ética. Ajá, ajá. Pero la segunda sí no la entiendo. Ay. Ah, ¿Cómo afectan a las compañías estas, eh, digamos, malas prácticas? Ajá. Uh -huh. Esa sería la segunda pregunta. Ajá, ya está en el segundo slide. Sí. Ajá, ya está, ya está, ya está la, la respuesta también. Sí, y la sí, última sí. es el tema de Ferrero, vea. Ya, yeah, is this, is the example. Ajá, que es el, que es el, es el ejemplo, exacto, es el ejemplo. Sí, sí. Y entonces aquí solo vamos a explicar un poquito más acerca de esto, que esto es como lo, base, lo básico. ¿Sí? Entonces, si quieren, practiquemos. ¿Quién diría el primer slide? Usted, Susi. Ok. ¿O cómo se llama? ¿Walter? Ay, sabe. <ríe> Pobre Walter. Thank you, Walter. Hi, Hello. teacher. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hi, hello. Hi. We are waiting um, with Fredo that is uh, getting connected in his laptop. Oh, okay. okay. I try to get connection with my laptop, teacher, <laughs> because the, with my cell phone, it is, it is, uh, it it's is difficult. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Identity. Teacher, I just have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, for saying sexual harassment, is it harassment or harassment? Harassment. Harassment. Yeah. Okay. Sexual harassment. It's very similar in pronunciation. Something you can do if I haven't mentioned it to you is use Juglish. Have you ever heard of that? Juglish.com? No. It's like saying you English, but just jug, juglish, juglish.com. You may go word by word. I'll send you the link right now. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, but this works only for one word at a time. So let's see, harassment, oh. harassment, harassment. This will play some videos where people is naturally saying harassment. And then you go skipping video by video. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know this, uh, this, this page. How do you say that? Is it page or website? It's a website. What is the website? Okay. Yeah, you will find Obama and many famous people talking live, you know, and, and it's very useful because you can get different types of accent. I will recommend you US, of course. But yeah, it's a good opinion, good option. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'll be here just as a listener. Get ready to come up with the presentation, okay? Yeah. Well, we, well, I think we don't have a presentation. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, remember that it's not about a PowerPoint presentation. It's ah, just about okay. it's just about your point Thank of you. view. Ah, okay. About okay. The, the things that you're reading. That's right. Oh my God! Um, Wilfredo got disconnected, and this is group number three, right? Group three. Yeah. He will yeah, be we back. We still have time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to give you a few more minutes, five more minutes at least. So it's just three topics that you have on your WhatsApp group. 
Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yes. Um, so let's see, group number three, sexual harassment, defamation, sexual harassment. defamation. and Foxconn. Both. How do you pronounce? No, it, it wasn't, uh, I mean, the one, the number three, I think, it was Wol Wolfsbachen or Foxconn? Foxconn. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, you got to go with Foxconn. Hold on. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, no, it's Wolfsbachen. <laughs> yeah, Volkswagen. 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 A... Volkswagen. Volkswagen. So it's, it's German, right? I know it's German. Oh. <laughs> Emission scandal. The company admitted to having installed software that manipulated emissions readings to make its cars appear as if they were environmentally friendly. Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay. Me too. Sorry, I haven't I'll... heard about that case. <laughs> so I don't, <laughs> I don't know like how to explain that like about you know emissions. But Very we were many. talking <laughs> we were talking with with Freda. There was another scandal where there was a problem with the how do you say jantas? Tires. How? Tires. Tires. Oh. Yep. Oh, tires. With what with, tires? With the tires that, like, they were exploding. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was, uh, you know, it, if this problem was with this company, but maybe we're going to, to talk about that because we just remember that, but nothing about emissions, you know. So... <laughs> See. Okay, so that's all about that's all it is about, you know. That's all that's all you have to do. Just talk about the parts that you had to talk yesterday, and that's it. I already sent the invite to Wilfredo, but he hasn't accepted just yet. So let's just wait for him. If you want, meanwhile, go ahead, prepare something, read a little bit about it. I know you're very smart, you're very creative girls. So I know you will come up with something. If you have any questions, I'll be here just listening, okay? Pamela, um, yeah. if you want, you can start uh, practicing about the first topic. Yeah, that's <laughs> trying to <laughs> first to, well, I'm reading again, but I want to, oh, sorry. Uh, but I want to uh, why how how can I begin? But how can I begin? In many in companies, in companies prefer to not public or report about some cases of sexual harassment. Because could be a bad fame about the company, create, create a bad fame about the company. And more, the, in many cases, uh, to around years ago, uh, the more the, the, the most of women decides, oh, let me know, I'm going to uh, put my ideas in order. Let me know. In companies prefer to not public or report uh, sexual harassment. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are we, how are we doing? Preparing. Okay, good. I'll give you five more minutes because everybody's everybody's preparing something. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll be here if you need me. What? 
No, que aquí voy a estar si me necesitas. I, I, I will study a master. Oh, nice. I want, uh -huh, I want. You want to I, study a master uh, degree in what? Uh -huh. Master degree about what? Sounds sound interesting. Um, um, system integrate, I don't, I don't know. Um, system, um, environment, Quality and, and prevention. System, sistema de gestión integrado. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> environment, and quality and prevention. prevention. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Sounds, nice. Sounds, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Online, because in the in the country, um, no. Not they exist. Have the Korea. There so is some there is some universities that they uh, oh my god they offer there, you uh, uh -huh. online classes online really nice yes <laughs> okay so if we get back to the item we're discussing. So who is going to talk about well Fargo happens? You because you understand. <laughs> no, oh my God. Uh, yeah. Not me. No, yes, you <laughs> practice your English. <laughs> no, no, no. You yeah. just Elena. No, I think no, you can I, do it. Well. No, <laughs> I vote for it. I choose Adriana. <laughs> no. I, I choose Adriana. Raise, raise your hand yeah, who Adriana. wants to be Adriana to explain. No. <laughs> hey, <we're Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. so difficult there are a lot of words that I, I don't understand I think yes. there are yeah no you are going to talk I was, I was, I was looking for talk so a few words. two minutes <laughs> mm. 
only two minutes because you you get inspired and you talk and talk and talk. No, only two minutes. <laughs> only two minutes. You get excited. <laughs> yeah, you. I watch you and you you get inspired and you you talk and talk. No, only two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will receive your you, advice. You have to do the best. <laughs> No, but no, but Rosa, this is this is your your. You no, will you talk to... about those two minutes. No, you have to do your best. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not feel good. My throat is oh my god I I don't know what I have but my throat is burning burning. I don't know how do you say ardiendo me arde. Think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick. I'm feeling sick. Mm. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to say that your your throat is burning? Yeah. Okay. What is, yeah, I've been. Yeah, it's burning. Burning. Yeah, burning. Yeah. Like when you burn something. Yeah. Okay. You're ready, right? right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Rosalena is ready to explain. No, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm on. going to know the you camera can do it. and go out. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Anyways, you already did something last night. I mean, this will be easy for you. No. You Come on, it will. Continue the next the next group teacher. We no. Yesterday. <laughs> Now we all have to come to the front tonight. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, we're just coming back in 20 seconds. Remember, it's not necessary to have a PowerPoint presentation and everything. No. I want to hear your self-opinion about the topics that we were talking about yesterday. This whole module we have been covering um, unethical behavior, let me see. Tomorrow we start with verbs followed by infinitives. Okay. Then verbs followed by either gerunds or infinitives. Explain the objective of corporate social responsibility. Describe effects of corporate social responsibility on the branding strategy. And the last one, core elements and sketch a proposal of cons consumer. Wait. I forgot the name, corporate social responsibility. Let me see, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to close this module talking about corporate social responsibility. But for now, we have, we're have we finishing today with unethical behaviors, with ethics, I'm sorry, that's the general topic, ethics. So let's see. So on stage, we have, I'm going to do the attendance, wait. <laughs> before you start talking because I know I won't stop you I won't be able to stop you later so let's see um, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores present Ana Selmi Chévez she was not here today Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo present Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores present Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Excellent. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Rosel Thank you. Sorry. It's okay. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Okay. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. He's watching a soccer match. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Houston, Houston, we lost them. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's start with group number one. The stage is all yours again. Relax, you already talked about your topic, so I want to hear your opinion again so we can record it. Do the rest of the class. I beg you, please participate. Make at least two questions to your classmates, okay? Once they, they finish the, the exposition, please make at least two questions to your classmates. And the same goes to the group. If you see someone falling asleep or with the camera off, you are free to make questions to your classmates. Go like, hey, Papa, ¿qué dije? ¿Qué dije? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not paying attention, right? Okay. Don't so, yeah. This teacher. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, it's your effort. You have been, I, I saw you guys. I saw you preparing this, studying this to come to the front. So, it's not fair uh, that somebody's not paying attention. So, it's up to you. Okay. I'm going to leave you with Rosalina, Edwin, and Adriana. Okay, I I understand that uh, in this moment we are going to talk about the oh my god the unethical uh, behavior that Wells Fargo uh, did 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 yeah. yeah okay um, Wells Fargo um, in nineteen eighty one. Uh, uh, was involved in one of the largest, it's so difficult word, in, in base, investment, investment, investments, investments, uh -huh, investments in history. Uh, my God, they, uh, Wells Fargo pressured employees to set up hiding account in customer names. And um, imagine they started in ninety in two thousand two thousand eight. No, in nineteen eighty one. Nineteen eighty one. Yeah, and until two thousand eighteen, they continue. It was uh, it was um a, 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 a huge for me. I can use it was a huge scandal. Uh, because this involved a lot of money. We were talking about millions. Uh, we were, yeah, millions of, uh, yeah, we were talking about the, the, the case. And oh my God, they talk about, um, uh, oh my God, let me, they, they mentioned that they, uh, after all the the process in the court and the they they was agreed to pay one 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 oh my god one forty two millions to the affected part parties parties which include million of customers it was uh it was uh, uh a millionary, uh, a millionary uh, case, only uh, for cloning, cloning, yeah, cloning the the, the accounts In, of the customer, uh, credit cards, mm -hmm. credit cards, Customers. credit cards mm -hmm. of the customer. It wasn't ethical because uh, you can 
you can do this if you are an employee you can do this also if your your boss tell us do it do it but if you you have your ethic is okay you know and a good person uh, we were talking in the last class about the the immoral the moral we know we know what how to do mm. sometimes we say we, we think i prefer lost my job and and because maybe i'm young i say i'm young i prefer lost my job and, and seek another and what look for another one but i don't do that but in that case uh, the employees uh, do the right the the wrong the wrong things and this happens this case happened yeah, to, to agree a little bit more about what happens here in this bank, in August 2018, uh, Wells Fargo paid uh, around 2, 2.1 million for its role in housing bubble. But the bank uh, was involved in, in financial crisis. But the, uh, Wells Fargo, he, he doesn't want, he doesn't want the, the one who was in this financial, final, financial crisis um in 2018 um the band uh, set around a million to make things right for almost 625 people who were incorrectly uh, denied law modifications in, in, in all these these things but but to do this uh if we talk about the bank uh, was um, what was the what, what happened here to affect to affect the the bank uh, because uh, well it affect a lot a lot of because no one is gonna trust this bank anymore because uh, if you go to a, a bank who has this uh, background uh, probably uh, will affect the bank to they don't will have more uh, customers and no one is going to have um, a, that, that confidence with it because you know your information can be stolen or, or, or can happen another thing like so the bank lose a lot and, and everything becomes in 1981 up to 2018 the, the they pass for sue for allegations for uh, for embezzlement and that they they really ruled the bank uh, we didn't find with uh, Rosalena if the bank is still work up to now but 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 it's not a secret so the bank lost a lot of a lot of customers uh, because these are um, embezzlements okay that's it for for our group right now and we already talked yesterday about the uh, false product claims and hiding turns in user agreements okay briefly i just have to say they was agree um they agreed in past mm -hmm. they agreed i prefer lost my job i prefer to lose my job and finally, the pronunciation of crisis. Crisis, that's all. Crisis. Okay, now the two questions for the group. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Now, uh, I remember, uh, I don't know what happened with, with, with Wells Fargo because I sometimes um, I, I was receiving a, a, a little help about my mom from the United States, but I remember that the, the two little w, WF Wells Fargo, mm -hmm. but now it is that I don't know if it is it is uh, the same bank or they change for another I don't know. For, probably they probably uh, about your question the. Uh... Probably they changed the name because his background it's it was for the ground, and they need to change the way they think and and the and 
in the the way that the, the, the customers thinks because uh, about what happens in this bank uh, they probably they lose a lot of employees so what probably the bank did is to change the name that's why when you receive your money you receive it from other name already yes okay I'm... now uh, excuse me excuse me no, no. Uh, now it is is w w b it is not w yeah yeah i'm i'm reading here that um okay um is this is this, is the same is the same bank but here here i'm reading that the qualification was reduced uh a a plus uh, no a a uh, minus My, minus minus uh, and here mentioned the crisis in the oh. 2008 mm, it's the okay. same bank but mm. the qualification was reduced they were bought uh, they were yeah. acquired they oh. were acquired by a, a small firm mm -hmm. okay okay thank you Okay, that was one question. <laughs> Somebody else, another question. Do you remember in the university when you have to ex ex explain a topic? Mm -hmm. Do you have a question? And when <laughs> when I was uh, uh, doing the presentation, going, uh -huh. yeah. Doing the presentation. No, yeah, yeah. Que no pregunten. <laughs> hey, no questions. Yeah. Yeah. Now I used to be. Uh, I well, you know, uh, when I used to go to the front, I was like, okay. So if you don't have questions, I do have questions. Uh, Fulano, what did we say about that? Okay. Good. Perfect. Next. Like that. I'm reading. I, I'm re sorry, teacher, but I'm reading here another important. Uh, uh, the um, oh my god, uh, information mm -hmm. because the firm, how do you say reward, compensar, rewarded, rewarded to the client, uh -huh. uh -huh, required re reward to the clients, the cliente afectado. Who do you say? Clientes the afectado. affected customers, ah, the affected customers with 10.7 millions, million. Millions. No, mm -hmm. don't pluralize. Million. Oh, million. Million. million, million. Yeah. With okay, ten point seven million dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's not for each customer. I mean, that's divided. Yeah. You know, split mm -hmm. it in yeah. quantities. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, no other questions. What about the group? Do you have questions for some of your classmates? Come on, at least one. We we need we have to. Oh, okay. We're gonna ask. Who want, who want to ask? Uh, who want to answer? Oh yeah, who want to ask? Who are, uh, oh my God, what is um a false product claims? If you understand mm. that we. Well, what we what do you remember? About, what do you remember? What did I uh -huh. say yesterday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? yesterday about false product claims oh can you give us an example about yes. false product claims i read i give a last red two examples. i gave i gave two examples last night last night it was last night nobody remember <laughs> everyone was sleeping right <laughs> It was Tuesday. Imagine today. Today is Wednesday. Yes. It's the middle of the week. We're going on Bahada, guys. Come on. Who remembers about yesterday's example? I don't. False product claim. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Gabriela is looking at me like you say my name not just like hancock do you remember hancock say my name one more time <laughs> tell me idiot again, <laughs> tell me <stupid> again. 
<laughs> okay, no, let me see. Carla was here last night. Do you remember Edwin's and Rosalena's exposition? I don't remember my name, teacher. I can <laughs> Yes, but I don't pay attention. <laughs> No, no, no. Somebody, come on, guys. I can't believe it. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. It, it, I only remember like Edwin talking and talking and talking. <laughs> only, only that I remember. I under I I don't remember. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go with group number two. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Rosalena. Thank you, Diana. I know you were preparing there. Uh, second group is composed right now by Carla Walter, and I believe somebody else was in this group. Group number two, yeah, Anna Selmi. Anna Selmi. Anna Selmi is here now. Yeah, so, <laughs> and who? Susie. Yeah, Susana was here. Okay, so ready? Uh, remember, it's just to give your opinion about the topics on ethical accounting poor working conditions, and Ferrero, Ferrero, USA. Okay, go. Yes, okay. Uh, you can say the topics is on ethical accounting and poor working conditions. In the first topic, uh, international mismanagement of account can make a business appear more profile than it really is. Like when you're talking about the first question, uh, we can say that false information for stakeholders and um, like renews expenses provide and fraud um, and not compliance with employer payments like like a bad condition for employee and not compliance with overtime payments if you remember the movie, The Wolf, The Wall Street, we think is a clear example, like on ethical accounting. In, um, in El Salvador, you can see that many companies don't pay, like Seguro Social. How do you say Seguro Social? I, I think social their social rights, I can't remember. Okay, uh, you can see, it, uh, you remember the case of Alcaldia sure. in San Salvador? Many, many employees um, make a um, huelga? A strike? A strike because don't pay his, his Prestamos? Social security, their loans. Mm -hmm. Their loans, okay. And you can see this practice is very common. It's not good, it's not legal, but um, the many people uh, don't care what happened with your stuff. And you can see, you need, you can see um, it's very, it's very common. And just to let you know, yes, Social Security Administration is the same thing. Social Security. Okay. Okay, now continue, Walter. Okay, so continue the topic. Uh, continue the topic, they have a second question. And who will they affect the company? And for example, um, low reputation of the companies, uh, lots of customers, and lots of future inventors, uh, lots of new business opportunity. And uh, can you say of cost the payment of fines, a possible demand, the training? Um, for example, uh, we had a problems in this topic of risk by having an ethical practice. Uh, 
the problems that can lead to closure of the company. And many people without a war for that reason. And from uh, it's uh, recommended to be more a uh, professional and put good values into price and or company. I continue the topics is uh, Carla. Okay. Uh, uh, our case study is Ferrero USA. Uh, in this case, Ferrero's show, show first advertising with the sentence chocolate spread is a nutrition choice for children. For this sentence, two natural person uh, puts a puts a sulf Nutella and warm the case for misleading advertising lawsuits in California Federal Court. Ferrero USA loss of 3.05 million in this case. It's very complicated for all company to for advertising because it's possible uh, it's possible the any uh, somebody put a uh, demand and trial uh, against two company. Uh, uh, actually, uh, is is common to see a a, sh uh, a show false advertising the part of the companies in in some case no more teacher teacher in the other example the unethical accounting um, it was the case of Aaron in 2008 um, the the that case, it was very uh, famous because uh, in the war we were five company, five big companies in our in auditing, but with a specific case uh, related to with the fraud of revenues, the the one company of auditing, auditing um, vanish, this is right, or dis disappear. Both. Yes, because uh, the auditors mm -hmm. uh, didn't uh, say the reality condition. In, the real conditions? In, the real condition about the revenues, about the recognition, the recognition, the, the revenues, and a lot of investors. Um, how do you say hold the money? Yeah, held. Held, held the money, and he lost complete the investment. They lost their and, whole investment. And in this moment, mm -hmm. in the war, uh, there are four uh, big, big four companies of auditing because the five company. The fifth company disappeared. So in what you're war, saying is that the, the auditing company used to um, give false information about the company. Yes. Uh, oh. all give and do you say support support the full information in Maybe, the market and they did it in purpose i mean they did it knowing yes they did it knowing because there, there's a chance you know that i mean but this will be an extreme case where the accounting reports were not reviewed just because you know it's like that ah, they always report good earnings you know they're yeah, it's fine 
Yes, but the 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 reason, the main reason was the unethical unethical uh, unethical practice. Unethical Unet practice. Unethical un, practice. Un, un, unethical unethical practice. Wow. <laughs> Teacher, in the in the false advertising is common and um, ethical practice. Uh, for example, the brand uh, as Red Bull, Splenda, McDonald's, Coca Cola, uh, are are brand brands that have an ethical practice because they uh, are um, give a a. a Demand us. A suit? They sue? They suit and in, 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 in trial for false advertising show. Mm -hmm. They have multiple legal accusations yeah. or legal suits. Okay. So to the audience, everybody who is not in this group, you have the opportunity to make two questions related to the topic your classmates talked about. If you don't talk, I'll select someone to make one question and another person to make another question. Teacher, we can include in this topic like happen right now with bank agricola, like fraud. It depends if you're talking about Foxconn, I think. Um, in, yeah, in, I mean, yes, you know what? What I they are what they are doing. Susie, go. Like uh, other people make intentional this work. Um, what do you say? I mean, what is an ethical? Mm, what is an ethical? Are we not? They ruined. They ruined what? His platform. platform. Okay. And, so fraudsters, fraudsters, scammers, hackers. Hackers. Okay. Hackers. Yes. Okay. What it's what it. What has turned what has turned out unethical is the bank, the bank lying to their customers, to their clients, because twice they have said they are experiencing problems, technical problems with the platform. But I have an audio, actually, I have an audio of someone um, from the bank stating that yes. Um, somebody hacked into the bank's accounts and the hackers got all of our information. If you had a bank, a bank, bank, that bank, that bank um, account, then they already have your account number. They have your balance and your transaction history. So they are selling this information on the deep web and that just I just like before starting the class, I shared the audio with my company because they pay us through Banco Agricola. So it's a lot of money. And so they have to find a way to solve this situation. Replacing the cards is the easiest way, just replacing the accounts. It will be the easiest way to do it. But I don't know why they have taken so long. And yes. They have been hacked. They have been hacked, fortunately. Okay. That's his reputation because I think this bank is a, for me, it's a good bank. It has but always now been. It's the second, it's the second. I, I know this happened. If you haven't watched that movie, I, I will recommend it to you Vanilla Sky. And in the sky with Tom Cruise and Penelope Cruz. Oh, yes, I'm sure I see. Okay, do you remember, do you remember this? Consequences, yes. Susana. Consequences. It's just the little consequences of becoming a famous country. That's it. We became famous 
last year, this year, we have became, we have became, we have become famous in the international community. So now El Salvador is target for fraudsters from for scammers and hackers. Yeah. Now that we're going digitally, we're going to the digital world. There's a lot of people wanting money and that's it. They have scams now on the internet. Have you received a message asking you to deposit $300 so they can send you a thousand because you want a car or something? Be careful, just be careful, okay? Okay, so everybody, two questions for the group. This was a great exposition too. So group number two, unethical accounting in poor working conditions. Okay, and they also talked about Ferrero, USA. So come up with your questions. No se la puede dar pasar. Alguien tiene que hacer una pregunta por lo menos. I just can't believe it. Come on. Okay, no, let me make a question then, um, which is a very simple question in terms of what your classmates explained so far. Uh, somebody who can answer this question. Let me see, Pamela, are you there? Pamela? Yeah. What is um, false accounting? Let me check the words again was unethical accounting. What did you understand by unethical accounting? Unethical. Unethical accounting. Um, like a scam? No, it's mm. not that. Uh, Thank when you. it's, uh, mm, when someone using a, a False account to illegal user. Mm -mm. Okay. okay, from think about the perspective of a company. So you are a company right now. How mm -hmm. could how could your accounting become something illegal, unethical? Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody. Many companies teacher present a big, a big structure, big place. And it's like the example you you seen yesterday. Like the company is selling vacational, vacational packs. Packets. And many are on the appearance. And we are very, we are very confiados. Trustworthy, huh? Trusty. Okay. Trusty mm -hmm. with, with, we can, with, what? We don't, we don't prove. We don't check if the information is real. We don't check. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's not, only see Facebook. With just, a, what's Facebook? With, with her parents. But I just want to leave this clear, okay? Um, this is as simple as a company inflating inflating yeah. their their maybe, results maybe when this uh oh my god uh, we when have something of corruption i think corruption yeah it has to do with corruption but in which the, terms the, the financial the financial statement uh, maybe the, are a fraud they are inflated uh -huh. with what's the purpose carla this year is when they account high a uh, real Numbers of the company, or 
They present well, uh, on real numbers, on real numbers. Mm -hmm. with okay. the purpose of attracting more investors and getting more money, real money. Yes, in Make the case the of the, yes, in the case of the public in, uh, finance, uh, public companies, mm -hmm. they must um, show uh, their financial statement in the for the public. And that information must be real, real. In the exactly. case when the that information is false, the users of information take bad decision about according to that information. That's this right. Is the example of the fraud. Totally, yes. totally. Uh, un unethical. Unethical, accounting. unethical right. accounting. One more example will be in very clear. Let's say that you import tires, that you bring tires from India, okay? And let's say that some tires are for public transportation. Other tires are for the, um, for growing plants, you know, for farms, for farming. So farming tires are really big. Bus tires are really big. But the taxes that you pay for bus tires, oh, I'm sorry, for, for uh, what did I say? You know, for growing plants and all that, uh, agriculture. If tires for agriculture pay less taxes than bus tires. Mm -hmm. OK, but so mm -hmm. so, you know, so you know that and then you tell on your declaration that these tires are for agriculture when they are in reality for buses. Yeah. So that's um, falsification. Yeah, that's false here, uh -huh. information. Yeah, I'm really I'm really here yes. something about the common forms, common forms of, of accounting fraud, manipulating the manipulating okay. the payroll creating fake invoices and yeah that you say misreporting tax liability to the liability IOS. that's right liability um have you been on a pyme here in El Salvador in small and medium business sometimes the business owner goes like oh my sister is very old she doesn't work and she needs social security so I'm gonna put her on the payroll pay mm -hmm. her a salary even though mm -hmm. she doesn't work here I'm just gonna be <laughs> Yes. Is that ethical? Mm. No, it's no. not ethical. It may be humanitarian, but not no. ethical. So, no. yep, you can see it that way. Okay, and they're, they're not smart, you know. Instead of instead of doing that, they could do a donation, a monthly donation to this person, and that person could report it as a payment, or they could use it to pay the social security because you can pay social security even if you're not working. It's it's more expensive, yes, but you can pay social security by yourself. Okay, good job. Um, so nobody made questions, come on guys. Let's go with group number three. Group number three, sexual harassment and defamation. Also, they are gonna tell us about Volkswagen was one um, a case that happened there. So I'm leaving you with group number three, which is composed by Ada Patricia, who's not here, Kenya and Wilfred, okay? And Pamela. And Pamela, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. uh, good night, for, good evening for everyone. Uh, the first um, topic that we're going, we are going to talk is for sexual harassment, harassment. Uh, well, and nowadays it could be more easily to report to uh, your uh, human resources that kind of, uh, uh, of harassment, but in many cases, uh, 
could be uh, they make uh, the victim feel that they are the blame for the actions. So many companies prefer to not keep cases in public or report because uh, they don't have they don't want to have a bad fame from this kind of um, information. Um, well, in the past, um, some years ago, um, well, we know that the sexual harassment is not only for women, it's also for, for men, but the, uh, the more common is in, is, it is in women. Um, and, but in, now, um, in the past of the three years ago, uh, when the people in began with women began to use uh, the social media in a good way to use uh, like a movement, Me Too. I don't know if someone hear about it, but it's a feminist moment, movement that created in social media, uh, began in Twitter that many girls uh, um, began to talk about their experience or their abuse that expose the people that they're uh, about, uh, they gated about um, the sexual harassment. Because many times they in the business world, uh, could, um, that kind of, um, uh, that kind of people, are the most famous people are involved about it. So like a famous uh, police, 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 politicians, uh, actors, uh, exposes not only when a woman, a one girl could be more, uh, more women involved in um, that me too is a hashtag that you use it. And in this case, if you using it, well, um, the first time uh, hashtag is only in Twitter, but now you can use it in more than one uh, social media. But you put it your a little story or well a little report, and you say uh, in the in the last hashtag me too, and many girls comment to like a thread in Twitter and put it the stories, uh, reports about it, also with the, the same person or the same company that they have this kind of sexual harassment. Well, the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> so um, I will continue with the same topic, uh, which is sexual harass harassment. Um, because I will put an example. If there is a woman who is, you know, going through this situation, most likely um, your boss can take advantage of your of your condition. For example, if you are having, you know, probably a baby, you are not having any experience to work in another place, in another place. Um, so that will be something that will lead to the to your manager or your boss uh, to do what they want, right? And most likely, if you are not saying anything about this sexual harass harassment, um, you are not doing, you know, this is uh, like later that will be happening to another to another woman. So uh, I think women now are like being most um, like taking more decisions, you know, talking to human resources, if uh, something like that happened. I remember in my workplace, um, once we, we were in a meeting and there was a girl who said, oh, uh, in the morning when I went out to, to you know, to the cafeteria, um, there were like, uh, I don't know how to say that, like, people working in a construction, uh, men. So one of them were like saying things to her and she reported that. Now what happened later? Human resources talked to, to that man and he was fired from that work, you know? So 
I think that right now we're having more possibilities to expose those kind of uh, situations. And as well, as a kind of um, consequence will be, for example, in this case, um, the companies will be having a bad reputation. Um, there will be illegal demand or they will be losing integrity um, as well. If there are women that are having this situation, later they will probably need a psychological treatment. Um, it depends on what it was. So <laughs> now um, about the second topic, which is defamation. Um, it's really easy to say like, um, if we have social media, we are uh, we are seeing all the time um, ad admins. How do you say? Este anuncios publicitarios, Pamela. I sorry, I just forgot. <laughs> advertising. Advert. Okay, advertising. Right. Uh, so we are watching this everywhere in the television. If you open your Instagram. Um, so most of the companies, uh, they are like probably will be spreading lies uh, about another companies to make them lose, you know, customers, um, like, you know, the quality maybe of the product and all that. Uh, it depends on what they are saying. Now, what happened? If they are, uh, if this is a lie, what the main company is telling to the other or you know, to the customers, then they can get, um, as it says, a hefty, hefty fine, which is like a big demand. Now, uh, at the same time as the consequences, we are, uh, they are getting uh, lost, uh, sorry. They're getting, they're not getting investments uh, from another, you know, people that maybe wants to collaborate with them uh due to the false information as well they there will be a financial loss and customers will uh don't want to probably sign a you know a policy with them it, it depends on what the company is about um so that's what i would say about those two topics now i don't know wilfred <laughs> Well, uh, first, I want to say that, that also in defamation, uh, in the same case than uh, sexual harassment, if you are accused for or reported as, as a victimaria, uh, victimaria uh, well, if they don't have the person, don't, they don't have the evidences about it. You to can uh, report it as the defamation to you, for you. A victimizer. If they report you as a victimizer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes, uh, will Fredo? Maybe he's not there. <laughs> Yeah. Alfredo, hello. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Maybe he stood up. Okay, so just these two words I had for you: involved, created, no, involved, involved, and yeah, ferretería is a hardware store. I think that's what you were trying to say. Hardware store. Do you see at this point, uh, Pamela, Kenya, you have uh, your area of improvement is just missing words when you speak, but nobody can stop you now. I mean, you're already talking, talking, talking. Most of this class, you know, you just talk, 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 and that's good for everybody. Okay, now, does anybody have a question for Kenya, Wilfredo, and Pamela? Yes. I have a question. Um, do you believe that it's more complicated to put a, a report in human resource when the, uh, the person uh, is the high 
level in the in the structure in, in the organization because Kenny the Kenya the example was uh, related to the the level operative level but do you believe that it's more complicated when the claim is about the manager or the boss do you believe this more I think complicated? Be, I think it could be depend of your company because really uh, the the human resource uh, the human resource uh, it's about could be a, a neutral in that point because they need to well if you have if you are the big team also they want um, the human resource needs needs to have the two uh, the two point of view to know what happened uh, how can how can I help you it's really it's also depend of your company because um, some companies if you well if your boss are very involucrated of is the maybe the owner who be uh, be difficult yes in my personal opinion um i believe that it depends of the value values of your company you know because i have heard for example um there are call centers that are having like a really bad reputation so um i really believe that there are some managers that could be you know, like related with human resources. And if you want to to go against, uh, you know, like, like <laughs> to a manager or to another high position uh, person, you will go ahead and need probably any proof that can be considered in that case. Uh, at the same time, you can go ahead and talk to human resources. As Pamela said, um, they will need to have the two point of view and review the case. But if you are not having proof or something, maybe they will be <laughs> with the boss, you know. I guess it depends on the company, as Pamela said. Thank you for your answer. Perfect. And that's, that's a common thing to happen, right? Especially when it's a family business. It's very difficult for an employee, a regular employee, to go and um, and claim this sort of abuse with um, human resources because they are the owners. So, what can you do, right? Okay, great job, girls. Thank you. Are we missing one group? Yeah, we're missing one group, and that's Sandra and Wendy. Nelson is working. So, if you want, please, um, we have about three minutes really quick. What are your conclusions about the last, the last topics? Okay, uh, I will share the, the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, your first topic is trade secret misapp misappropriation. So uh, to start, uh, what is trade secret? Uh, trade secret are uh, like intellectual property, um, rights on confidential information, which may be sold or um, yeah, it, it may be so. So a uh, trade secret uh, misappropriation occurs or happens when a trade secret has been uh, wrongfully taken or disclosed without um, consent. Um, yesterday, we talked with Nelson about a uh, Facebook, for example, um, uh, about uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, it could be considered uh, 
a trade secret misappropriation because uh, basically uh, he is stealing the Facebook uh, idea from the twins. Uh, I don't remember the, the last name, but uh, it could be an example of trade secret uh, misappropriation. And other example is um, if you hack uh, into a company computer or copy uh, the files, for example, uh, so uh, this act can be considered an, uh, like a stole of information. So basically, <laughs> this is trade secret misappropriation. And the next, uh, Sandra. Okay. Bribery. Uh, bribery is uh, a concept uh, is uh, generally uh, company company government is a uh, uh, I think the, the baby is uh, true insights on the company for the guild projects. They distribute the commission generally for the uh, Ghana, we, we. The will gain mm -hmm. uh, uh, projects. Uh, generally, uh, can observe in the government uh, companies when they offer different projects to tenders. Uh, and that's in my company, my company uh, observe, observe information, uh, the project pay commission. Uh, I think, uh, uh, is a uh, uh, bravery um, in all the company. Excellent. Okay, yeah, these topics are, are very common here in El Salvador. And we have um, a case study, right? Uh, yes, uh, we have a Foxconn example. Uh, Foxconn is uh, one of the biggest uh, contract electronics manufacturer in the world. And I, I searched in, in Google about them and show information that they use um, school children work illegal overtime and night to produce to produce a smart uh, speaker for Amazon or Apple, for example. So uh, I think there is a not ethical because uh, the owners of these companies continue to become rich, but at the cost of the work and exploitation of their employees. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> wow. Well, that this was good, actually. Thank you very much, girls. Um, to Sandra and, and, and Gabriela. Wow, that's a very interesting topic. I, I don't know why we continue producing so many things if we don't need them in reality. Oh my God, well, that's a different topic. Pollution is everywhere. And human, you know, we, we are killing the world producing more than what we need that's for sure so uh, we're done i'm staying tonight with adriana stephanie if she can stay 10 minutes adri hello did you will you stay 10 minutes okay yep okay Good. So let me do the attendance. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Don't forget to do your platform, the midterm exam. 
Uh, vamos hasta el, el midterm exam hasta esta noche, eh? por favor terminen todo y si pueden avanzar más, está bien fácil el midterm, super fácil so let's do it, ok a la Patricia Linares Galdames, a Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores present <laughs> Ana Selmi Chévez present teacher thank you, Edwin Alexandra Ayala Erazo present Gabriela Alejandra González Flores Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. <laughs> Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Thank you. Good night. Roselena Salgado Serrano. De Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. I didn't find the microphone. <laughs> Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Excellent. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Good night, Good night. everybody. Good night. Bye. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hmm. So. Hello. How are you? Fine, teacher. Mm -hmm. And you? I'm doing better, actually. I'm feeling better, um, healthy, health-wise. Health-wise, I'm doing better. Um, I think I'm getting underweight a little bit. I don't know how, but I'm not eating bread. I'm re I have reduced the sugar, which is good. And that's helping. And walking, running is helping as well. So how about you? Do you exercise? Hey, it's okay. Um, sometimes. Um, in the uh, weekend, and um, usually Sunday. On Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, the time in 20 or, or 30 minutes. <laughs> I thought 20 or 30 hours. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> and I see, watch, and the videos in YouTube, or make that exercise. To exercise? Oh, yeah, there are good videos. Mm -hmm. So uh, the exercise yeah. that I'm doing, I'm trying to do is planks, planks. You know, you go straight with your um, column, just stay straight on the on the floor with your elbows. Just stay like that mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. much as you can. It's really difficult, but it it, it works. It really works. What um, time, Julie? One time. You made. You made. The, yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing planks. Uh, what time during uh, during May that exercise? How long? Or how long do you do how the exercise? Long? <laughs> You're breaking up. How long did you exercise? Uh, uh, it's like at least six repetitions of 30 seconds, 45 seconds each repetition. It's difficult. It's really hard. And it hurts. It burns your, your stomach. Yes, no, teacher, it's very important to make exercise. Yes. Yeah. In my case is I try because I like, I like, or I love um, postres. How do you say postres? Or uh, bakery. Candy bread, pan dulce. Mm -hmm. You love pastry. I love. Pastry. Pastry. Mm -hmm. Pastry. But you have a son, right? You have a kid. Yes, teacher. So you do exercise. You do exercise with him. 
Yes. Yeah, running, um, playing. With my children. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I go to the park uh, with my children. And, and I went and I stay in my, in my house and play play soccer football soccer in the living room the sala verdad uh -huh. in the living room y, y yo yo sudo <laughs> yes that's good <laughs> that's really good I mean there are many exercises that you can do from home a lot of exercises you can stretch you know stretch your body all the time like that's very important very important okay and how are you doing with your job Hi, very very good very good in this moment is 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 um is uh they are more more work more activities mm -hmm. and very trainings for the employees many many and trainings very activity mm -hmm. many training uh, for the employees it is very um, interesting um, interesting and bossy i am uh, i will no i am oh no I am very bossy in this oh. moment for for the for mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you, yes, why, why are you very like bossy? Did they they have um oh my god promote you? Did they promote you? Are you a boss? A supervisor? Yes. Oh okay. Yes. Okay. Is this in this moment I uh -huh. I, I make organization and with employees mm -hmm. and for and for resign training the training different oh. trainings. Okay. It is very difficult because the um, schedule the and we have different schedule. Oh really? It's not mm -hmm. a eight to five schedule. Mm -hmm. mm. I have three um, schedule in three the schedules. Uh -huh. schedule. <laughs> schedule. Uh huh. No, you say schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule. Schedule. Okay. The schedule. Uh huh. We have three schedule or what are you? It's the same. Yeah, you're right. You're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the weekend. Mm -hmm. no. On the weekend. Time. On the weekend. Mm -hmm. Wow. We okay. This is what you could have to continue doing. Eso es lo que tiene que continuar no, haciendo. No close the company. That's good. Eso es lo que tiene que practicar yeah. todos los días. Yeah, todos los días. Yeah. Solo hágalo frente al espejo. Empiece a hablarse. That's important. Just to review. Asaltarse. <laughs> Asaltarse. Very good. Okay. Thank you for staying with me this 10 minutes. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Thank you for you. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. <laughs>